Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Man the Maker. Welcome back to Star Trek Frontiers. We are Mo. And we're gonna continue I don't know, kind of faffing about a little bit <laughs> here. Um you uh, Elsa Naraman, yes. Level up your soldier, of course, because you've got some nice talents there that we want. Yes indeed. Level five, I think, gives us some some pretty sweet stuff. I'm looking forward to that. But what are we doing? Well, I would like to fight a Zeno. I would really like to fight a Zeno. I've been trying, and you're denying me just every time for some reason. Um, I don't care to fight this pirate. What I want to do is fight a Zeno. Because I just want to test out how the new build fares. I'm just curious. I just want to know. How does the new build fare? Maybe this isn't... Because before we slap on this passenger thing, I would really, really, really like to try ourselves in full combat capacity. Wow, 20 rep from that. That is just... That is just crazy. That is just crazy. 20 rep. Okay, fine. Well, we can just go in the direction of the mysterious abduction, right? Beginning of another cycle of reproduction justice between Taloon and Javat. That's fine. First, we need to just go and look for him. So, let's just go and look for him. Um, one thing I want to do is we want to start perhaps talking to smugglers more. There's a, a mission that you can get from talking to smugglers. Also, just landing on these guys' worlds. Uh can cause a vignette to trigger. Captain, there's a retired Rikard diplomat waiting at the starboard wants to speak with you. See her in. Many welcomes, Captain. Greetings from the void, Miss Kane. You seem to have been young to be retired. Ha! Huh. I got out of that game early. I've heard a bit about you and your crew. You have. Oh, yes, I'm a listener, Captain. I retired young and I found more lucrative ways to ply my trade. Listening very carefully is one of them. I think you and I can have a very lucrative relationship together. Others would hear of your exploits for sure. What type of work did you have in mind? It's all very personal business, quiet business. Dropping off something here, looking under a rock there, looking under a rock, quietly looking under a rock, officer. I understand what you're saying, Miss Kane. Come visit me if you're interested, Captain. She's a Reichardt spy. No one is surprised. We are interested in her offer. What type of lucrative work do you want to discuss? Ooh, specialist gear. Yes, the lucrative work. I reserve those for Captain. I trust my ambitions. 30 personal rep. Fortunately, we can just sell you some intel records, can't we? We have nothing uh, relevant, but... 6 personal rep. 11. Wow. Um, yeah, you like... No, you're only 23. 6 more, and 3 more, and that's 30? Yes, it is. I had a feeling you shared my ambition, yeah. Seen as a diplomat, and now a diplomat of a quieter kind, I've spent my career serving Rikard interests. When you build a web this big and this strong, you can feel a tug on the farthest thread. So what exactly have you detected? I got a little fly caught my web recently, and when I learned more about what he does for a living, I made sure to apply extra sticky webbing. He's a lowly developed as researcher, but he had a chance to work at a prestigious research site. Fortunately for him, he couldn't hack it, and they released him to a lower cohort. That's fortunate for us, because now he's poor and resentful. You know how the developers love their standard of living. He's missing the old style and is looking for a way to get back. Sounds like the perfect target for a bribe, especially considering his line of work. Exactly, and what's more, it turns out the team he joined was assigned to trying to prove the Golfus Scanner Theory. A what? Of course he wouldn't know anything about it. In 198 AE, I helped arrange a scientific collaboration summit between Rikard and Taloon. It was a difficult team to hold together, but they were working on deeply theoretical science. The result of their three years of work was the theoretical concept of a Golfus Scanner. What is it? It's uh, it relies on a spectrum. Ha ha. Who are we kidding? Neither of us are scientists, but we can both smell the stink of credits of the very idea. Exactly. Whatever the science behind it, it would greatly increase a void ship's ability to sniff and intercept signals. It would change short-range void communications forever. The results were only published privately to the Rikard until the military units involved, but somehow this developer's team has gotten a hold of them. Likely a bribe. Goes around a star, eventually comes back around the star, as they say. My rat, Andre Zal, claims that the team had a prototype working, that they had found a way to implement what our scientists could only dream. 
If it is true, developers would tip the espionage world on its head. And so I need you to help me gain every scrap of information we can. Underzell is waiting for a bribe purse to give us the exact location of the lab. I want you to deliver those credits. Once he has given us location of the lab, we need to do a preliminary sweep of the system to learn everything we can that we might use to our advantage. Cassie Eyes says it all. She's dreaming of getting hold of the tech. So we know simple spying mission will take subterfuge, deception, and more to infiltrate this lab. But the reward for capturing such new technology would be high. This is our type of work. Credits would come raining out of the sky. Contacts of the military would open the war chest if we had the design in hand. It won't be easy to get. You'd have to go deep into enemy territory, Captain. We could we could spy on them. So, what kind of gear do you have? Just a Bexian tincture. Just up to level four. No. Um. Let's see here. Gulf of Theory, nine years, fifty-one weeks. Well, it sounds like we something we should do, doesn't it? Uh, let's take the mission. Rat in tech. We can accept it. I didn't even read what that said, but I'm sure everything is going to be just fine. Uh, let's see where we're going then. All the way out there. Well, we have another mission here. Are they both there? No. No, you're in this direction. We can stop by there on our way out. That seems just fine to me. Pirate fleet's freaking everywhere. Merchant fleet, merchant fleet, radiation storm. Okay. I think that's what we were looking for. That worked out well for us. <laughs> Stop at one place. All right. I read that uh, apparently the game works in cycles, right? Every few years... It will seed um, new vignettes into the world. So, you know, if you don't find something, wait a couple of years and then poke your, poke your nose around a little bit. And, uh, you know, it might, uh, it might trigger when it didn't before. We do still want to hunt the Xeno. We do. Oh, come on. Really, really being quite annoying. Bounty hunter ship. We're just they're not going to fight you. Oh, come on. Come on. Who are you, who are you kidding? Give me the ship combat, Xeno. Nice. Let's see. This could be the end. I mean, level 27 Xeno. He's the red ship. They are quite scary. We could use the flash charge. No. I don't think we want to take the damage to the engine. No. Let's just start here. We will launch all of our craft... Shutter Strike Pattern. Um, we will do the bombing run, I think. Aegis Pattern. Aegis Pattern. Fire one torpedo. And give me that dodge. There it is. Let's see how well they can hit us. I suspect they will have difficulty. I suspect they will have... Well, Guide of Fire will make it a little bit easier for them. They do hit once, twice... They, they hit us twice. Uh, I will use my forward thrusters. And my armor has gone down significantly. Whoa. Yeah, void contortions. Okay, well. In fact, I think I'm just going to use evasive maneuvers again. And we're going to close the range again. Twitch surge. Okay, so we are going to close for sure now. We don't want to get too close to this guy. Nice with the interception. Beautiful. We do close range only to uh, four. Yes. Yes. Um, we really want our craft to hit here. And I think we're just going to go weapons hot. He might try and close range. If he does, we're going to have to do some things. Um, how is my, my health? Uh, no. We, we want... Contacts are dying of old age. Okay, well, this is not where I was looking for. Um, log. Okay, nobody died. Nobody almost died, either. Um, 
don't fire that. Fire that, please. Yes, yes, yes. And we are going to let our bombers hit. Vigilant scanners, you are going really hard into that accuracy. Wow, we did not do a lot of damage there. But you're not hitting us either. Even with those vigilant scanners. And now you're going to get blown right open. That is unfortunate. But that is a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. And we're just going to go... We're doubling down. We've got 2% shields, 20% armor. We're just going to unload on them. We're just going to go all in. Ah, oh, we missed. My god. That Radiance Railgun does not seem to do a lot of damage. Does it not display radiation damage? <sighs> Lots of components are taking huge amounts of damage. Why is why is this here? I'm not entirely sure. Um yeah, everyone lands back in their hangar. They suffered lots of component damage. Are you actually going to show me me hitting them? Helios Railgun. It doesn't actually show. It doesn't actually show my damage? Processing orders. Is that all the log that you're going to give me? I guess so. Well... I think uh, we still want to keep our craft up. Aegis pattern. Aegis pattern. I have minus one reactor point from a system blackout. Um, I think we're just going to go all in on the damage. Oh. Oh, because I'm launching. Yeah, that does make sense. Um... You and you, please. And our talent? I mean, we can... It's probably pretty smart to still play defensive here. I mean, it's really nice that we got that minus to shields and armor. Which is why I want to really uh, hit them. But I also don't want to get a hit much more than I am. No, screw it. Firing orders. Our craft launching these guys is my is my middle ground there, right? They will buff us defensively. You're gonna use Twitch Surge, which is interesting. And you're gonna take a lot of damage. Closing range, that's fine. Closing range times two is less fine. We really want to uh, retreat now. <laughs> We'll take the sharp steering. And we will launch our b a bomber here. Okay, hopefully they don't close too much. Yeah, that's some good damage there. Nice, missing with your lances, missing with your lances. There's no way he's going to be able to close range. Wow, I've never even seen a Xeno Horror Caster. That's scary. Pretty scary. Um, we will launch you as well, I think. And uh, probably go in with the incendiary, I think. Well, no, at this point, at this point, just go for the maximum damage. We uh, still have minus one. Well, uh, of course, because I'm launching a craft. Yeah, we can't fire everything. We'll go with the railgun. Again, what are you going to show me? You don't seem to show... much. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're dealing lots of component damage. 58% damage. I mean, that's great. We want that component damage. That's all we actually really care about. Um, we're firing that twice. I feel like I want to stop you from closing range. Oh, tag the beast! My god! 
Yes, please. I forgot all about this, and it's so good. So good. All right, let's go. Veteran Clarity, that's fine. Beast got tagged. Beast got tagged up. Doom Driver is missing. Yeah, you failed to close range now. Very good. Very, very good. We can unload with everything now. And uh, I think we just go with the firing orders here. Actually, no. Let's let him land his hit. And have you just uh, try and get a critical. That's fine. Hunt and seek. Big hits coming in. Got distortion field on you. That might be a new one for me. I might not know the distortion field. Oh, did my wife do something? No? Okay. She was just in here. Not sure why she popped in, but I will go and speak to her afterwards. Okay, now we want the damage. Firing orders. Let's just get the kill. I think we can just get the kill here. Guided fire isn't going to matter. Radiation wash on you. There's more damage. Yep, there's the crit and he's breaking up. And they are done. I took a little bit of damage there. They did hit us early on. They did hit us early on. Took some damage to our components. Combat Hyperwarp Drive with 40% damage. And, uh... Okay, we did get some injuries. Kitty Viltata over here. Wounded, but nobody almost died. And now we can just, uh, you know... Ooh, Triumphant Predator. Yes, please. Medical Ward. All of these wonderful things. Hangar Triage, Warfare Patch, Medical Ward, Hangar Triage, Warfare Patch, Orchestrated Salvage, so many things. There's that 50k, and we can just go ahead now and retreat. Alright, I'm quite happy with that. We, we handled that dude. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Let's uh, now continue onward. Go ahead and check timer. Yeah, I think, I think what my wife... Was, was she snuck in here? I got my headphones on. I didn't even know she was in here. I just heard her leaving. And I thought she brought me a pancake. She made us some special pancakes. We're going to have a little side pancake for dessert. We had some soup for dinner. It was delicious. Side pancake for dessert. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Um, no, let's just uh, let's just go straight there. Can I... Well, of course I can repair. Pay the wages. Level some crew. Our soldier, backup soldier here. Frontline Brave is really, really good. If you ever get to do it. They have such good talent, soldiers. My god, in the front. <laughs> they really, really have such good talents. I don't know if she's ever going to get used. Maybe as a backup for our... Well, we have. We actually have a fair amount of backup. Um, let's go. Merchant fleet here. Don't care. Should have looted? No, we couldn't loot. Stop by here. Just get ourselves some fuel. Still the Spice Festival going on. It's been going on for a very long time. Take your monies. Nice. You know, I, really, I gotta say, I'm impressed with the pacing there. Right at the moment when I was like, okay, I don't really know what to do. Boom. There are things to do. And I don't know about this blood game thing, if it's actually uh, going to accomplish us anything. I mean, does it, is it connected to any kind of unlock? I don't know. But you know, this is, this is a way to find out. So we can just go ahead and find out. Bounty hunters, no need to pay attention. Oh, she was checking my timer. Everything's coming together. Checking for the perfect time to bring Man the Maker his pancakes. That's what I'm talking about. That, oh, she is this the best. One day, one day you folks will probably meet her. I suspect that that will happen. Probably one day when I do a live stream. 
one day. <laughs> I've been saying I'm doing, I'm going to do a stream for so long now. And uh, it's just, it's hard. I mean, with my schedule and maintaining the YouTube stuff alone is just, I just don't really have the, uh, the time to do it. Which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, okay, I'll fight some pirates if I have to. And we do. Find some pirates, some um, Iridlantine. Nice. We'll take the fight. We'll stick with our team here. Yes, please. They got some... Actually, they, they got some pretty good rolls there. Which is not great. Oh, thank God for the miss. And thank God for this. Um, you're a military officer, huh? Oh, we'd like to take you out as quickly as possible. Thank God for the miss as well. Great. Um, we do need to just lifeline you. You have bleeding, huh? Removes all debuffs. Yeah, we gotta go for that. I mean, okay, it's actually plenty well good. Um, you... I mean, we should just go for the dueler stances here. But you pop back, disappearing act. You are now invisible. Um, I think for you... We could just do the... E no, E-Shock Grenade is just so good. We did miss, which is unfortunate. But it's just, it's honestly, it's so freaking good. Um, you now can use your fading shot. We did get hit and um, debuffed. Uh, the terrifying accuracy is, is too bad. But we can just... Crap, I did the wrong one! I should have used uh, my other talent there, shouldn't I? Okay, great. Now you can pop back and forth. Now you're buffed, you're buffed, we're ready to go here. Removes all debuffs? No. Do we want to use our 12 initiative to give 10% armor to everyone? Or just to do, yeah, let's get the armor. Um, now probably trying to kill you. Uh... I mean, I would like to probably kill the... No, let's take him out. You please pop back here. He is difficult to hit and hits hard. Ow. Um, do, is it worth it? No, I think we just want to... I think we just want to wreck. Nah, we want to we wanna electroshock grenade. It's just too good. This guy is really hard to hit. Ow, 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 ow. God, we missed again. Please don't kill him. Nice, thank you. Um, I mean, you're as buffed as you're gonna get, right? I guess we just ignored this guy while he's got that high dodge on. Please don't hit him. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 10 plus 28. 36 plus 28? Yeah, we need the full heal there. Please, please actually hit him. God, he's tough to hit. Oh, we can kill the spy at least. Gonna get morale break on that one. And you throw an electroshock grenade. Son of a... Cannot hit him. And the stun. Rough. Uh, you should... I mean, you can actually shoot them a lot. I don't know why. Ah, uh, your morale broke, though. Okay, you missed with everyone. We do need to boost your morale here. Finally, we actually hit this guy. I don't know how he was so dodgy before. Yes, please, the grenade. Please hit both of them. Nice. Thank you. She's not stunned either. We'll put that terrifying accuracy on you. And we'll even boost up your morale a bit more. Like it never happened. There we go. Success. Success.
success. We will pick up some nice loot from that. Gain more experience for our people, which is really what we want. We'll take this stuff, which is quite easy for us to sell, and fetches a nice price. And that's the end of this episode. We have, uh, well, I mean, what do we got? We picked up the new vignette. And possibly working towards some more story things with uh, Callag and Fane there that we don't know. We don't know how the blood feud resolves. Maybe some cool, interesting things will happen. But uh, if not, you know, whatever. It's all good. We are learning. We're exploring. Still having fun. So we shall continue on. Until next time, my name is Man the Maker. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.